It's week 18 of the NFL, and we've got high-flying offenses set to take off. It's the Seahawks and the Colts, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Just a stone's throw from historic Monument Circle in downtown Indianapolis, we are at the beautiful Lucas Oil Stadium. Just a short time ago, smoke from the pyrotechnics filled the dome as the Colts made their way out of the locker room. We're set for football as the Colts get set to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Brandon going alongside my good friend Charles Davis and CD for as much as the defender and you probably hates to hear it. The NFL is a league ruled by offenses and we've got a couple of good ones about ready to do battle here. Well, you know me quite well. Maybe one day I can get to be commissioner. I can flip that around a little bit and we can just talk about defense. But let's face it, we're talking about two units. They're ranking the top five in the league. So I think this might be a game where you forget about the field goal. You better finish your drives with touchdowns if you want to keep up with the Joneses on the other sideline. Still nothing, nothing here in quarter one, but an early test to check in on as we've got a third down situation looming. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. Pass the 20. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Colts TD. It was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got it. They're going to have to come right back. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. A big early third down here for this defense as they look to hold on and force a field goal try. Wilson now to throw on third down. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. A rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off down near the five. So now the Colts backed up to start their initial drive. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Russell Wilson and company in the red zone as we'll jump in to see what the Seahawks can do here. Now they try the right side here. He will push his way down to about the 14. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. We've called a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes him faster? Their ability to read plays, a 
understand what offenses are trying to do and put themselves in proper position. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on 32. Well, they're currently the best in the NFL in converting on third down, so it was no surprise there that they picked that one up. And they've done it in many different ways throughout the season, Charles. Picking it up, running it, throwing it, just effective on third downs all year long. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A great play there. His 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. And on his way to the end zone, shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. A big early third down here for this defense as they look to hold on and force a field goal try. To throw on third down, Beltran. And he completes it to Westbrook. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. This will wind up a loss on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. The whole... Russell Wilson and company in the red zone as we'll jump in to see what the Seahawks can do here. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. A great effort there. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. So here's the situation upcoming. Second quarter, third down, and this defense just trying to force the field goal attempt. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of the quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, your coaches are upset with you, all right? So if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball. Take care. Russell Wilson and company in the red zone as we'll jump in to see what the Seahawks can do here. On first down, Wilson. His throw caught at about the five. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Let's go, boys. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Again, Wilson. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson with two first half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. Oh 
Just inside of two minutes for this offense. Second quarter. They've got the football, but on their own side of the field. Now Wilson on first down. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 83 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Wilson. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. He'll spot Eskridge open left side. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And Wilson's going to be intercepted at full time. Picked off down at the two. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. Solid drive here has this offense in really good position. Can they finish the drive off? Let's find out. It's first and ten inside the red zone. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A great play there. His second TD of the game and 18th of the year. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got... fourth quarter and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side they need to get the ball back to their offense they have a chance to do that on third down from the gun on third down Wilson forced out to his left and he will slide to a stop he does have the Russell Wilson and company in the red zone as we'll jump in to see what the Seahawks can do here. From the 16, Wilson, and he fires one incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he will have 
have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. 128 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. On second and goal, Wilson. Touchdown, Seahawks. Good job. Making it a hat Good trick job. for Russell. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. This offense has been lighting the scoreboard up. Now the question, can they add to their lead? We drop you in a red zone situation in the second half. Now a handoff here to his running back. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed him down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? And he is going to have a Seahawks first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for the defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive linemen, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. To throw on second and ten. Wilson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Wilson. Touchdown! It's complete. Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Seahawks look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. So definitely a good day's work throwing the football. Very good day's work. A fourth touchdown pass as they're really pouring it on. Yeah, and so much for going into clock mode. A field goal does them no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. Here we go on fourth down. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. 
So for the Seahawks, they finish things off in style, putting a bow on a 14-3 regular season. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for the Colts, it's a tough loss to take as they'll finish things off at 9-8. But they've got better days in their future. Of that, you can be sure.